Local theater group is honoring Illinois history thanks to a unique performance. It's Theater in the Park at Lincoln's New Salem in Petersburg, and they're staging Spoon River Anthology. <laughs> Ryan Burke, he found out the show holds special meaning in town. It does hold special meaning to me, too, because I was in it in <laughs> high school. So fun to revisit it. So Spoon River's author, Edgar Lee Masters, once called Petersburg home. The book, which was then turned into a play, focuses on small town life in the fictional Illinois town in the early 20th century. And as I found out, performing it in town that helped inspire it means an awful lot to cast and crew. It's straight from Illinois, the state of Illinois. It's founded by the Wabash, Ohio, in the lakes. There's quicksand in a swampy land, it interfields their snakes. But feeds us right diversions and take not from the joy of living in this garden spot, the state of Illinois. They're the faces of small town life in central Illinois. Each one with a story to tell, and maybe a few secrets to reveal. Out I went into the world, where I passed through every peril known of wine, women, and joy of life. It's a series of poems, and it's all the people in the cemetery of Spoon River speaking from the dead, speaking from the grave about their lives. For director Phil Funkenbush, staging this play in Petersburg holds special meaning and pays homage to Edgar Lee Masters, who wrote Spoon River Anthology. He was born in Kansas, came to Petersburg when he was a young boy here in Menard County, lived with his grandparents and parents here, and then when he was 11 years old, they moved to Lewiston over in Fulton County. All that time compiling and inventing stories about the joys and struggles of life on the prairie. All of Spoon River watched and waited for its work People have relatives who were, you know, mentioned. I mean, there's names in the in the book who are around here in in Menard County and over in Fulton County and Mason County. And so there's just something you almost feel a need to do it justice. Do you remember when I fought the bank in the courthouse ring? For actors, it's a chance to feel connected with their characters. These are real people with real struggles and things that people can relate to uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And so that's really the, the, the thrill for me is not so much the, the uncommonness, but the very commonness of it. So this, is, uh, this gets to emotion and feeling and, and again, just like before, getting the humanness of it all. Sex is the curse of life. This has been one of my bucket list shows. I've wanted to do this like this since I was in junior high. <laughs> Finally getting the opportunity. This is the perfect place to be doing history, you know, from the river and, you know, the people that lived back in time and some of them during this period of time of New Salem and Lincoln and all that. I fear your dancing days are done, oh Johnny, I hardly We've done a lot of theater pieces and plays about this land and the people here, and there's always someone that's related to somebody. And it, it just, it's a family thing, you know? There's something extra to it. It's more than just putting on a show. Although it is a great show. <laughs> something extra to be able to tell the stories of this place and give a voice to the faces of the past. Really an amazing show. You just feel the history come alive when you're there. It's such a cool environment to perform that show. So if you want to check out Spoon River Anthology, it's running through September 1st at the Theater in the Park at New Salem. And we'll have all the info on how to get tickets and other info up at CILiving.tv just after today's show. All right. Bring back memories for you. It, it absolutely, the, the monologue, one of the ones where he goes, it just wouldn't work. That was my monologue, and it's been Aww. 10, 12 years, but it, the memories came right back, the words for all sure. Right. Thanks, Ryan. You bet. Okay, we need...